to the world. Subscribe now to the Hot 97 YouTube channel. It's Ebro in the Morning with Laura Stiles and Rosenberg. We have a very, very loyal friend of the show named Tracy Strahan. Um, she's a, a news anchor. She works for, uh, she's a reporter for WNBC TV. She's a mom. Went to Syracuse. Hey, Tracy. She's always tweeting us because she's up in the morning getting, getting her stuff together to do her news. She wants to say, big congrats to Rosenberg Radio. I became an investigative journalist about everything leading up to your engagement. Then she sent me a text exchange. Yeah, I see this. Someone said to her, you can, be, you can be my date for Rosenberg's wedding. Or she said to someone, and then someone said, he got engaged. She said, yep. Then someone said, he slipped the other day, called her Mrs., and Ebro called him out. Mm, I remember that. Totally, I peeped that too. And he claimed he was getting a colonoscopy. <laughs> and you claimed. Claimed. Hmm. <laughs> Wait, you, does this person, so this person, Tracy or her friend, whoever this is, thinks the colonoscopy was a cover-up. Well, then they go on to say, right. uh, guess, uh, guess we now know uh, where the ring came from. Ha, Excuse ha, me? It's <laughs> like a joke. <laughs> and then someone, the response was, ha, ha, ha. We all know about polishing turds. Are they trying to disrespect your ring and listen. say it came out your arse? I'm listening. What? Is that I what? Is that what I'm? That's what it feels like. This is weird. Yo, listen. Ew. I love Tracy, but hit her friend with the button. Congratulations. Dang. You played yourself. I didn't know we were gonna be polishing what? things that came out your arse. <laughs> Yo, so Rosenberg decided it was a good idea uh, to make his engagement announcement. I mean, they had. It. I don't know if you heard it about it, Laura Styles, but it was like, from what I could read on the uh -huh. tweet threads. There was a tease. I'm rolling my eyes. There was a uh, a buildup of, of, of Rosenberg mm. trying to throw the audience mm. off of them thinking he was leaving the show. Oh, my God. All the way up to this announcement. Whoa. Then there was a... I, and the reason I know this is because I, I was deducing based on a clip you put up of the announcement yeah. on um, the Michael K oh, show you, you on saw, ESPN. You saw the swerve? You saw how I set them up with, I've been here a long time. You know? Yeah, 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 that's Honestly, right. Honestly, it was a He lot. had like a whole I was like, I've been speech. here a long time, and it, it's been six, seven years. And Laura, well, how do you feel about this? First of all, I felt like you stole our moment. That was Congratulations, to you played yourself. Well, and on. honestly, I was watching the clip. I was like, where, where are we going with this? I was getting frustrated. Where are we going with congratulations, this? Congratulations, you played yourself. And then after yourself. announcement, I mean, I love them both. You know, and again, congratulations. But I kind of felt like you should have done it here with us. Congratulations, well, you played yourself. Hold on. Then they started arguing about who's going to be in his wedding party. We would never do that to you. Yeah. You choose your own people. Oh, yeah. We don't care. Oh, yeah, that's right. This show would never. They would. You guys here would never give me a hard time about anything related no. to any of this. Of course not. Of course, of course not. What? Wait, what segment are we announcing my engagement on during, right now? <laughs> Congratulations. Probably. You played yourself. So, so a couple of things. Mm-hmm. You know, listen, number one, the, the timing of this, well, it all goes back to the congratulations. So I did not tell the story of what happened on the case show. I said, I'm saving that for Ebro. I said, hold on, everyone. Oh, we got some promo out of this. Yeah, yeah, I said, I said oh, that yesterday. And what they Come say. I, Don, well, Don said, no, that's what you should do because he thought Michael was being a jerk. So he was like, take your story to the morning show. So I was like, thanks, that's what Don. I'm doing. Yo, thanks, LaGreca. So, so I, I didn't tell the story. I'll tell the story right now because... The, my story is the definition of congratulations. Congratulations, you played yourself. And that congratulations. Both. So, yes, I am uh, now engaged to be married to Natalie, who I've been seeing for the last couple of years. AKA Miss Hatton. Yeah. AKA Miss Hatton. It's very, it's very, very public. I'm, I'm yeah. astounded. It's a, it's very, very public. And you don't even know yet how. <laughs> I'm astounded. You That's outside. really, honestly, the most astonishing part of the whole thing. So, so what happened was, my plan for this engagement, which everyone who I brought it up to seemed to be on board with. And maybe they didn't want to tell me this is a terrible idea, but everyone seemed to say it was a good idea. Was that- Well, I just want to say you didn't run it by me, so. Congratulations, you played yourself. I probably I'd told you. So I, Natalie loves her apartment. Her apartment has a really beautiful view of Manhattan. She's always talking about when I leave this place, I'm gonna be so sad, blah, 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 blah. So in my, in my mind, I was like, oh, I know what to do. It popped in my head one day. She's a, she, Natalie's a photographer. 
She hangs out a helicopter. She's an amazing aerial photographer. Go check out her page, at Miss Hatton. She's fantastic. So I was like, oh, I know what I'll do. I'm going to get a drone to fly up to her balcony. Mm -hmm. I'm going to use the drone as a distraction to bring her outside because she's a nerd. I'm like, hey, is that a drone? She's going to come out and be like, oh, that's the... Blah, 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 5,000. Right. Like, That's the drone. I want that drone. That's fire. <laughs> and while she's confused and looking at it, I'm going to go down to one knee. Mm -hmm. I'm going to propose and shock her, and we'll have the aerial view of the city behind us because I'll be filming from the drone. It I, sounds major. It sounds like a great idea. A lot of variables. A lot <laughs> of uncontrollable variables. This was not run by me. I only heard the aftermath. Because <laughs> Ebro is, I somehow did not come up with a real legitimate backup plan. Mm. So I put all the wheels in Wait, motion. Stop right there. Congratulations, you played yourself. I no set up. Plan. I set up the the dinner for afterwards. Mm -hmm. My brother and his family are driving up from D.C. All right. Her best friend Lizmar and Francis, they're coming from all the way deep in Long Island. Her friend Molly's in town from Kenya. I got everything coming together. Her sisters come, everyone's coming. And then the day before, I text the photographer. And I'm like, yo, how are we looking for tomorrow? And he said, it looks like there are some serious wind gusts. Congratulations, oh, you played yourself. I said wind gusts. Oh, now, if any of you guys remember, and I know this group pays attention, does anyone remember the weather from this past Saturday? Nah. I it, don't. It was windy as hell. <laughs> the, I, I woke up right. and I'm like, I walked outside. I went, God damn it, this is a bleeping windstorm. <laughs> and that was the end of the drone. Congratulations. You Wait, played so yourself. Did you even attempt it or no? It was just no, like, no. You can't. The drones are going to get slammed into some Sorry. building somewhere. So, so instead of doing this grand gesture with the drone on her balcony, I just proposed on her balcony. Wait, which is nice. Congratulations. Which is nice. Which is still beautiful. And it's still beautiful. Thank you. Yeah. It's nice. Congratulations. Back to the that. drone, the guy. You can fly drones in Manhattan? If you have a license. And he's got one. Yes. Oh, so nice. Our professionals that been great. over here. That would have been great. That would have been but great. But I wasn't going to risk, if it was shady at all, I could just read the New York Post headlines about local radio right. yokel who <laughs> crashes their drone into someone's apartment. Congratulations. <laughs> right, right. So I yourself. had to bail on it, and, you know, listen, it wasn't exactly how I planned. I mm. came up with a cute, a cute plan. Otherwise, I she had left some rings at my house uh -huh. last week. Mm. And when she left the rings, this is the only backup planning I did. I took the rings, and I put them in, like, my uh, medicine cabinet in my bathroom. And I was like, if I need these, this could be a useful tool. <laughs> Yo, so sneaky bastard. So hiding okay. stuff. So playing. Saturday, she I watched this guy. Saturday, she said, "Bring me. Can you bring me the rings back?" Mm -hmm. And I went, "Oh yeah, sure." So the setup that I eventually did when I brought her out on the balcony, and it was a beautiful night. I was like, "Oh," and I reached in my pocket and I said, "Oh, you, I for, almost forgot to give you your rings." And I gave her the rings, and she was like, "Oh, thanks." And then I said, "Oh, I, I forgot one," and I reached in the other pocket and I pulled out. Oh my god. <laughs> And thank God she said yes. Oh, yes! Yes! <laughs> I've been waiting to hear this. Drewski! No! No! Another no! one. Wow, boy. Wow. I have tears in my eyes again. Oh. I'm so happy for you guys. I am delivered! Yeah.